Hey guys, I have an antenna I've been kind of thinking about in my mind, something I wanted to build. And that's an off-center fed vertical dipole for the 10 meter band. I know you're going to go, well, isn't the purpose of an off-center fed dipole to make it multi-band? Yes, but here's my thought on this and why I want to build this. I want to build this because it's a half wavelength. It's a dipole, meaning it doesn't require um, radials or counterpoise or whatever. At a true half wavelength, a vertical dipole or a, a dipole or, for that matter, an off-center fed dipole is a complete antenna. So I'm thinking I could build this and make it for the 10 meter band, pretty much just using the, uh, you know, two thirds versus one third of distance. And I've got this thing, I've kind of measured out for uh, 28,450. I figured I'd be kind of close to where I want to operate on the 10 meter band. So this is it. This is the antenna, a off center fed dipole vertical for the 10 meter band. I'm going to get it up in the air and let's see how this thing works. Stick around. Okay, so here's the setup that is uh, Greenwich Bay leading out to Narragansett Bay. I know you guys have heard me say that a lot. This is really my becoming my go-to spot. I love it here. I'm going to go uh, have my, that is a flagpole holder you drive over. I have that holding my, this is the seven meter DX Commander pole. And um, up, you'll see this is a LDG four to one ballon, not an on a four to one ballon. And um, yes, that's clear packing tape. I ran out of electrical tape that I usually use. But anyway, there it is up to, you see the upper element there? This is, I believe it's 20 gauge wire that I had left over from another antenna project. But there it is, up and then down. And at the bottom, if you can see it, the bottom of the uh, lower element there is, I don't know, I would say half a meter or so above the hood of the Jeep. So. Maybe not the ideal spot, but um, a pretty good uh, situation there for me. Uh, there it is, the off-center fed vertical dipole for the 10 meter band. Let's jump in and um, see how things are going. And here inside, I'm using the Zygu G90. I know what you're thinking. Walt, you've got a QT80, all that power. <laughs> yeah, I know. I really want the advantage today of uh, using this uh, SDR. I can see the waterfall. And I like the ATU, we'll see how close. I, I did check SWR and to be honest, it's hovering around 1.7. So either I would have to trim it to make it perfect or whatever, I'm gonna be lazy. And I kinda wanna be able to maybe try it on the 12 meter band and use the ATU to see if I can tune it there as well and, and, and get on 12 if I want to. So anyway, Zygu G90, the vertical, uh, half wave vertical off center fed dipole for the 10 meter band. Let's see what we can do. Kilo 4 Oscar, Golf Oscar. Kilo 4 Oscar, Fox Oscar, you're 5x5 five five in that Georgia. My name is Mike, Mike India, Charlie. Roger that, you're 5'7 into Rhode Island. The name here is Walt, Whiskey Alpha, Lima Tango. No, but he sure, he sure is. A, he's a solid kid, and I'm talking to a bootlegger. That's illegal, man. Get your real call. <laughs> This guy's an idiot. Oh man, but I find it out sooner or later. TRZ. This guy's the biggest idiot. Oh, he ain't ready to license. And we all know who he is. 73 is located on DVR Park Sunday. Kilo 4, Oscar Golf Oscar. Kilo 4, Oscar Golf Oscar, gotcha. 955, Wisconsin, U.S. One zero zero five four back to you. QSL, QSL, you're five six into Rhode Island. Portable here with twenty watts with a G ninety and a vertical off center fed dipole. Good to get you in the log there, my friend. All right, well, well, thanks a lot for uh, Rhode Island today. Uh, yeah, good signal today. I'm just running fifty watts into an inset half wave, but uh, excellent copy. Hey, thank you so much. Good to get you in the log again there, my friend. Seventy three. Always a pleasure. Take care, seven three. Uh, 
Thank you. 73. Bye bye. Kilo 4 Oscar Golf. Oscar. Kilo 4 Oscar Golf. Oscar. You are 5'9 Mississippi. Handle Larry. Over. QSL Larry, you're 5'9 into Rhode Island. The handle here is Walt. Whiskey Alpha, Lima Tango. Okay, Walt. Well, real good. We're well, nice taking a lot of Rhode Island today. Glad to, glad to get you in the log. Over. Hey, thanks for getting me in the log there and have a good one there, my friend. 73. 73. Thank you. Uh, QSL 20. This is Whiskey Zero Whiskey, operated by Alpha Golf by Zulu, Larry, near Hattiesburg, Mississippi, and Whiskey Zero Whiskey's QRZ10. And this is why I love the G90. I know it's tiny, I know it's small, but man, it's nice uh, having a waterfall, you know, on an SDR radio. And this one is a wonderful little SDR radio. You know, I've got the others. I've got my QT80 with 80 watts. I've got the Presidents with the, with 40. I've got some great 10 meter um radios and uh this thing for some reason i just love getting out with just 20 watts in this radio and having fun and uh as you can see uh 10 meter band's pretty active here let's get at it QSL, QSL, you're 5x4, five 5x4 by four, five by four into Rhode Island, USA. Thank you so much, my friend. 73. Okay, my friend. 73, QDX for you, okay? Papa United for you. Thank you, Dr. Zulu. QRZ, you see QR calling DX. For Oscar, Germany, Oscar. 73, my friend Walter. This is Papa United, QDI, UK, Operator Battle, QSL. QSL, QSL, you're 5'8", five 5'8", eight, five eight into Rhode Island, USA. QSL, you're also 5'8", eight, 73, my friend. Good week. And uh, this is what I'm all about right here. We'll watch the sun go down. We'll go through the gray line. Uh, things are well. It looks like uh, 10's going to stay open, but um, having fun with this thing. This is a fun antenna. And uh, making some DX contacts, I'm hoping as uh, it gets into the uh, gray line here and it gets a little darker, we got... Uh, we can still make some pretty decent contact, so uh, let's get back into Jeep and see how it goes. Kilo 4 Oscar Golf. Oscar. Yes, Kilo 4 Oscar Golf. Oscar. The name is Walt Whiskey Alpha Lima Tango. You're 5'7 to Rhode Island, USA. Roger, Kilo 4 Oscar Golf. Oscar, 5'9. Water it over. Hey, thank you for the 5'9. You're 5'7, five 5'7 seven, five seven to Rhode Island. 73, my friend. Lima, United, water, thanks, right? Okay, 9 ZPR, parks on the air, 15 meters, last call. Kilo 4, Oscar, golf, Oscar. Kilo 4, Oscar, golf, Oscar. Good afternoon, Walt, 5-7, Wisconsin, US 10054, back to you. Hey, good to get you on a second band today. You're 5-9 here into uh, Rhode Island, and uh, I've got a little 10-meter uh uh, off center fed dipe over the 10 meter band. I came up here, came down here just to check it out, hit the ATU button, and I can't believe I'm getting out. <laughs> well, it's working. It's working. Yeah, it's, um, um, it's, am it's amazing what you can do with the tuner. So, uh, good to get you in here the second time today. I'm going to drop on down to 40. I'll doubt you'll get me down there, but uh, good to get you twice today. Hey, good to get you twice as well, and uh, and love your channel, and uh, this one is going to be on my channel, and I'll probably be up tomorrow afternoon if you want to check me out. Coastal Waves and Wires there. Thanks, all the best, my friend. All right, well, I've always loved watching your stuff, so you too, you take care, and have, uh, have a great afternoon, 7-3. Seven, 7-3. Three. Seven, three. This is Gabe and I'm VBR, uh, 15 meters, last call. <laughs> Got Michael on 15. I, I just, off of a, just a whim, I said, you know what? I'm going to go to 15 and see if it'll tune right up. And SWR was like, I don't know, right around two to one, but uh, tune it up and got him. So now you know what I got to do. I feel like, got, let's go to 20. And see, this thing will be actually the total length of this thing will be about a quarter wavelength for 20, but we're like in the middle. Um, what a compromise, but I'm having fun. Let's check it out. Kilo 4, Oscar Golf, Oscar. Ending in 5 Lima, go ahead, it's your turn, please. <laughs> Whiskey Yankee 5 
worry about it. All right, so uh, in tuned, and uh, I've been going everywhere trying to get in, uh, break in on a, the, it's one of these uh, parks on the air pileups. 20 meters is just wall to wall uh, POTA. Um, and, no, <laughs> 15 was uh, probably about as much as I was going to push this antenna. I'm going to go back up to 10 and operate. Um, it's getting dark. You're seeing the light off of my um, iPad where I'm logging here. Let's go up to 10 and try a little bit more before uh, before the band goes away here. And this is where I want to be anyway in the gray line on 10. So uh, let's get back up to 10 meters. I'm in Rochester, Minnesota. And you have a very nice signal here into the state of Minnesota and a great picture there. I'm not sure what you're operating there. I'll have to look at the QRZ page, but obviously you're on the, on the coastal waters there. So, <laughs> waves and waters, I see that on Rhode Island. Very cool. Tell me a little bit about that when you come back. I appreciate it, uh, Walter. Uh, K4OGO AI is zero. I'm getting a name of Stan, like it's Stanley in Rochester, Minnesota. Well, the sun's going down, and so is the 10-meter band. It's kind of fading away, so I guess I'm done. Um, what a fun night. That's what I like to do, man. Just cut some wires and have some fun. The antenna, yeah, it was pretty cool. It was good. I've never built that before. I wanted to see it. You know, that, my goal is to build every darn antenna I can. Um, I like the idea of not, you know, a vertical. And you guys, if you know me, I like the idea of a vertical without having to put counterpoise wires down or whatever. Something in like in a tight space, like in a parking spot, like I'm in now with the Jeep. You can just put something up in the air. That's why I like the, uh, I like uh, vertical dipoles for 10 meters. I like a half wave vertical for 10 meters. I don't need that. And this one I wanted to try. And, and I had fun goofing around with it as well. It was kind of cool to go down to 15 and make that contact with Michael after I'd made it with 10. He's a great YouTuber and what a knowledgeable guy he is. But um, yeah, it, it, he's, uh, he's it's, it's, that was cool. That was fun just to go up and down and, and have some fun with that as well. So um, yeah, a lot of fun. And that's what I like to do. And uh, man, the sky is so beautiful. It is uh, looking out at this right now. It's just like what a the sun is gone. A little orange in the in the sky. It's just a beautiful night. I got to jump out there and take down this antenna. So I'm going to do that. But anyway, if you like this, if you like uh, building antennas and experimenting, that's what this channel is all about. You know, cut, cutting a wire and getting on the air. If you're into that, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching the video. And until next time, I'm Walt K4OGO. Stay salty, my friends.